Next up is Kathleen Tate. Now Kathleen, she attended Sage Summit. She came to my session. And then when I was leaving, she drove me to the airport. So she, she's, she's a hardcore fan from Chicago. She writes in to say, my fear is that I'm a social worker attempting to get into the fashion world. I get motivation from Evan's channel. Now his book, your one word. So do you have advice on moving from a part-time entrepreneur to a full-time entrepreneur? Yeah. Hey, Kathleen, I'm sorry that I didn't give you a ride to the airport, but Evan Almighty, he rocked in Chicago. Um, he set the Windy City alive. And, uh, you know, I think um, some context around that. I, I think we really have an opportunity. You're in social work. Wow, what a great, what a great job you do. Uh, you know, without you, the world would be just a lesser place and uh, people who do social work in their communities should be valued by everybody and, uh, you know, it creates great social cohesion. We've talked before about caring for the vulnerable. So you, you walk it every day. Now, I think if you want to get into things like fashion, designer fashion, actually, you've got a great platform in terms of your, your current job. What I'd advocate you do is, again, you know, you've got a big dream. It could be around fashion. And we love that. Um, you, you get inspired by Evan, which is brilliant. But you have got the platform where, I hate to use that word, but you could kind of moonlight doing your current job while you get an income from being a social worker. But use that and use the time at weekends and evenings to start creating your big idea. And you're probably you know, going to have a website associated with that, products and uh, design, uh, and, and maybe even start talking to potential customers uh, and potential sort of distributors and stuff like that, and, and even potential uh, manufacturer. So you could, what would be a really cool idea, right? This would be it, Kathleen, and you've got to promise you're going to do this. We're going to do another of these broadcasts in a year's time, and you're going to come on the channel and say, Evan, I'm now running a designer fashion business with a million dollar turnover. And I did it because of that broadcast, gave me the inspiration, and I spent six months still being a social worker, but actually that gave me the platform to build, even if it's a few hundred thousand dollars, you know, that'd be unbelievable and totally amazing. So I'd, I'd kind of say, you know, great with all these things, kind of cut the elephant down into little chunks. You've got a great, hopefully secure income being a social worker, use that as a platform, do an amazing job as a social worker, do some moonlight in the evenings and weekends to say, how am I going to use this platform to connect me with my dreams, my passion, which is all about fashion, and then build that business. Go after it, build the business, um, you know, fund it sensibly just to kind of kick it off, get, get some product sales, then reinvest that in growth, uh, and then you'll find you've got a business you love and, and nurture. The only tough decision you've got is when do you stop being the social worker and give you notice, really. Uh, and I, I would advocate um, that you kind of jump off the diving board once you've got your business and a bit of momentum and you believe in it, uh, then then you should go. Now, the other thing, right, I, I've got this great piece of advice from someone. Oh, wow. When I went off to it, it was a startup company at the time. It was a company called Oracle, technology company. Everybody knows them, you know, but at the time, nobody knew them. They were a no-name company and they were a startup. And I was with a pretty safe company at the time. And I went to my boss and said, look, I got this offer from Oracle. Uh, they sound like a pretty crazy American company, going to rule the world, big vision. They got this guy, Larry Ellison, running them. Uh, and, and, he, and I said, I, I really am torn because I've got a great career here, pretty safe, daddy, uh, but I, I think I would want to risk it early stage company. And he said, the good thing is, Stephen, he said, if you leave and resign, you know the door's always open if you leave well and you never burn your bridges. So actually, there should be no fear about your decision because um, you're well-liked, you're trusted, you do a great job for us. Um, but most of all, you should go and try that. And if it worked out, you're going to be a rainmaker somewhere else. But if it didn't work out, the door's always you know, open here. And, and the only thing that you might have to you know, swallow is your pride, but you're, you're a big guy, you're a grown up, that'll be no problem for you. Good advice. So, so Kathleen, I'd, I'd love 2017 to be the year where you make it happen and you follow your dreans and you're uh, an incredible 
brand in terms of designer fashion. That'd be amazing. I, I like the uh, one year challenge to get to a million. Uh, I love that. And, and what did you say about the elephant cutting it into chunks? What was that expression? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, they say this, like they say, let's bring the moose in the room. Yeah, in Canada. We okay. say uh, over in Europe, let's get the elephant on the table. But how do you eat an elephant? You cut it into very small chunks. Yeah, break it into 2,000 chunks. So when you put a business plan together and you're going to be the biggest designer fashion brand on the planet, Kathleen, you've got to break it into little chunks. What do I want to do for 90 days, 180 days? And, you know, and then you'll find momentum. You'll find you'll have a following. You'll find you'll have raving fanatics as customers. Uh, and you'll develop partners and you hopefully all your employers will be brand ambassadors for you. Uh, and then you've got rolling thunder, you've got momentum. Uh, but you have to kind of start small, have a massive dream, big dream. And, and just a phrase I use, yeah, cut the elephant up in a thousand chunks and then you can eat it and enjoy it. Eat the elephant one chunk at a time. All right. That's I it. like that. I, love I like it. that. Um, for people who are part time, trying to move full time, I agree with Stephen. I would say you need to make sure that you are spending time every day on your business. It's easy to get caught up in your job and responsibilities, and if you have kids, and you know life can get in the way, and then you never actually do the thing that is also supposedly important to you, which is your business. So make sure you're spending time on it every single day, even if it's half an hour, like every day, something to help your business grow. Um, and then try to figure out what where your skills are best used. What's the highest value that Kathleen can bring? Because people will throw all sorts of ideas at you, like Kathleen, you gotta get on YouTube. Kathleen, you gotta be on Instagram. Kathleen, you gotta talk to this manufacturer. Kathleen, you, you know, you gotta go to these presentations, whatever it is, and uh, you end up doing everything in a mediocre way instead of you know one thing really, really right. So what's what's the highest use of Kathleen's time that you can apply uh, in those thirty to sixty to ninety to one hundred twenty minutes a day to really make them count? Uh, you figure that out, and then you're on your way to going from part time to full time and beyond. Hey, Kathy. By the way, um, Evan and I, you know, we're pretty humble guys, and uh, we're really happy to do product placements for really cool designer clothes that you're going to um, create over the next year or so. So we'd we'd be pretty cool to come on, you know, Evan's blab. And, uh, you know, I, I guess Evan would love to wear a blue J shirt or designer clothes created and uh, brilliantly inspired and nurtured by Kathleen. So, so we'll do product placements for you and uh, we'll pump. And the other thing, actually, if you get going and you follow your dreams, I love, I love what I love doing is pumping out great ideas from um, so on social media. So we'll, we'll give you all the help you can.